no place for them to go. The population density in the black community is at least four times greater than it is anywhere else in the city. But the discrimination, even on the fringe areas, is terrific. And there is no place for black people to go. Whether it, what it amounts to in Milwaukee is that a thousand black families from here are being uprooted and they're putting on top of black families that are living here. There's no place for those families to go. And this is one of the reasons why we are fighting for fair housing legislation. The Fair Housing Act was meant to end segregation and discrimination in communities, schools, housing, and social clubs. Father Gropi, the advisor of the NAACP Youth Council, was a major figure in leading this movement by performing marches in large groups of minorities fighting for their rights. The clip of the march and burning of the Freedom House occurred in Milwaukee's south side, while the marchers paraded across the 16th Street Viaduct Bridge. I captured this area from the south side and across the bridge because it is a symbol of uniting a divided city, a city that still today remains heavily divided. So why is Milwaukee still one of the most segregated cities in America? It goes back to Father Gropi's speech in the beginning of this presentation. Society has created such heavily populated and segregated communities to the point that society loses interaction with these communities. They are considered taboo for whites and looked at as ghettos. They serve no purpose but to stay a ghetto, leaving little hope for minorities to become accepted as well as able to afford converging into updated communities.